Saliva has many important functions. One of them is lubrication. Saliva prevents friction of the mouth tissues. Without saliva, the friction would cause irritation. Also, saliva helps balancing the pH in your mouth. Anytime we eat a meal or a snack, there's a drop in the neutral pH environment and it becomes acidic. Your brain through highly specialized sensors on your tongue and mouth is able to detect these pH changes and triggers production of saliva in order to bathe the teeth and re-establish a neutral pH environment. And this is critical because we know that acidic pH plays a major role in the development of tooth decay. Saliva also has minerals like calcium and phosphate that replenish the weak spots on the enamel after loss of minerals from an acidic environment. So saliva helps your teeth by re-establishing a neutral pH environment and replenishing enamel with minerals. Another very important function is swallowing. Without saliva, it would be very difficult to swallow your food. In fact, just thinking about your next meal can increase the production of saliva in preparation for the next step, which is digestion. In the early stages of digestion, enzymes in saliva, which are specialized protein molecules, start the breakdown of sugars and starches. These foods are broken down into smaller and smaller particles that can be further processed in the stomach and absorbed in the gut for distribution throughout the blood vessels to cells and tissues for the energy and metabolism needs of every person. Other functions of saliva are defense against foreign invaders through antibodies that kill and eliminate a great amount of microorganisms. And lastly, saliva helps in tasting and dissolving molecules in food that allow us to detect different flavors. People who don't produce enough saliva struggle a great deal and to eat and swallow their food. Saliva production can be impaired by some cancer treatments or autoimmune diseases. This is when something disturbs your immune system and your own body attacks and destroys your own tissues. There is a condition called Jogren's disease and it is known for destroying your saliva glands. And also you can get reduced production of saliva due to medications like anti-allergy medication and cold medications. Medical conditions like Jogren's disease are more common am among middle-aged women and just recently we saw a female patient with this condition in our office. Because her saliva production had slowed down for the last few years, there was no pH balancing, no cleansing, and what we found is that she had developed cavities in most of her teeth. And not, not only most of her teeth were decayed, these cavities developed mostly on exposed root surfaces by the gum line, which makes them very difficult to treat. In cases like this, it is important not just to treat the decay, because the decay is only the manifestation of a much more serious issue. If we just fix the cavities and don't change anything about the mouth environment, this patient will just come back with more decay in six to 12 months. And unfortunately, it will get to the point where we won't be able to fix it anymore. And we're going to have to start the painful process of removing teeth. So for people with low production of saliva, the plan usually involves using a saliva substitute. There are over-the-counter saliva substitutes that help patients with dry mouth. But because saliva substitutes usually don't have minerals, we prescribe mineral supplements to help prevent decalcification and decay on these patients. Now, don't think that this only happens to people with autoimmune diseases. Dry mouth also affects people on multiple medications, people who consume alcohol and people who are dehydrated. So if you or someone you know suffers from dry mouth, we can do an evaluation and determine if the condition requires saliva substitutes, mineral supplements, or if there are any dental issues that have developed because of the dry mouth. More importantly, we can help them develop a plan to avoid the long-term consequences of dry mouth. Thank you for watching and see you next time.